out there, reading out loud out there, chapter 52. I got cut up early. I see it didn't leave anything. Man. They play too much. Yeah, they play too much. They play too much. I'm YouTube since 84, yeah, since 84. I told y'all about that story, right? <laughs> Went from 515 to 109. Man, if you believe in Jesus, expect that 109, sir. And don't nobody want to be around you when you glorify the Holy One until they need it the most. Amen. We're going to get into it. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you humbly, but boldly, thanking you for every breath and every heartbeat and every organ functioning of this body. I pray that the listener and the viewer will heal and be healed as we read your word out loud. The mirror, the real mirror that we sleep on, but we know it's there. May you make it real clear today and so forth that you heal quickly to those who have faith, just as the little message did. To go forth and believe in the light in the midst of darkness, evil, and wickedness. Thank you for shunning evil and wickedness and giving us the army to destroy the work of the devil. May you have no place, no more you say ever. And I pray that as my voice is heard while reading your word out loud, that the listening viewer will be healed quickly. Because, Lord Jesus, you waste no time healing quickly to those who seek you. Pursue you, cling to you, and don't let go. And I pray that none, none will be left out in this way, but be fulfilled, satisfied to the mind, body, soul, and spirit. Connect the bones you bless us with to do your will on this earth, to destroy the work of the devil. May you have no place when mother stay will do it ever again. And may you be glorified by the listening of you being healed, strengthened, encouraged, and motivated to continue. And that those around them will catch on and follow through too. Search for you in everything that they do, in every aspect of their life. Whatever is dark, thank you for bringing your light there. Thank you for fulfilling it with your truth. Thank you for getting rid of all lies and discouragement. Thank you for putting in your encouragement and raining down righteousness, nothing less. And Father, we thank you that every word spoken as we read out loud that the listening will be motivated, encouraged to continue to rise up unto the Lord Jesus Christ. And serve as you see fit for your king. Be glorified in the midst of it. While we are blessed to do it according to your riches and glory in heaven. Nothing less. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank God. Amen again. Isaiah chapter 52. Amen. Amen. Hold on. Good words. The Lord will deliver Zion from, capti from captivity. The Lord will deliver Zion from captivity. Verse 1. Awake, Carmen. Awake, Simicon. Put on thy strength, Carmen, O Zion. Simicon. Put on thy beautiful garment. Come O Jerusalem, come the holy city, call it. For henceforth there shall no more come into thee the, circ the uncircumcised and the unclean. Period. Verse 2. Shake thyself from the dust. Semicolon. Arise, come and sit down. O Jerusalem, Colonel, loose thyself from the binds of thy neck, 
Okay, well, Captain Daughter of Zion, period. Verse 3. For thus saith the Lord, comrade, ye have sold yourselves for not, semicolon, and ye shall, re ye shall be redeemed without money, period. Let me, let me re re read that. Verse 3. For thus saith the Lord, comrade, ye have sold yourselves for not, semicolon, and ye shall be redeemed without money, period. Verse 4, For thus saith the Lord God, come, and my people went down aforetime into Egypt to sojourn there, and the Assyrian oppressed them without cause. Period. Verse 5, Now therefore, what have I here? Come, saith the Lord, come, that my people is taken away for not crushing one. They that rule over them make them to howl, come, saith the Lord, semicolon. And my name continually, every day, is blasphemy. P. Verse 6. Therefore, my people shall know my name, call it. Therefore, they, sh they shall know in that day that I am he that doth speak, call it. Behold, come. It is I, period. Verse 7. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him that bringeth good tidings, comma, that publisheth peace, semicolon, that bringeth good tidings of good, comma, that publisheth salvation, semicolon, that saith unto Zion, comma, thy God reigneth, exclamation mark. Verse 8, Thy watchmen shall lift up the voice, semicolon. With the voice together shall they sing, colon. For they shall see eye to eye, comma, when the Lord shall bring again Zion, period. <clears throat> Verse 9, Break forth into joy, comma, sing together, comma, ye waste places of Jerusalem, colon. For the Lord hath comforted his people, comma, he hath redeemed Jerusalem, period. Verse 10, the Lord hath made bare his holy arm in the eyes of all the nations, semicolon, and all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of our God, period. Verse 11, depart ye, comma, depart ye, comma, go ye out from them. Come, touch no unclean thing. Semicolon. Go ye out of the midst of her. Semicolon. Be ye clean. Come, that bear the vessels of the Lord. Period. Verse 12. For ye shall not go out with haste. Come, nor go by flight. Come, for the Lord will go before you. Semicolon. And the God of Israel will be your Real word, spelled I E A R W A R D. Real word. P. The suffering of the Lord's servant. Verse thirteen. Behold, comma, my servant shall deal prudently, comma, he shall be exalted and extolled, comma, and be very high. P. Verse fourteen. As many were astonished at thee, semicolon, this his his vices or visage, his visage was so marked more than any man, comma, and his form more than the sons of men. Cut, verse 15, so shall he sprinkle many nations, semicolon, the king shall shut their mouths at him, <laughs> Curly, for that which had not been told them shall they see, semicolon, and that which they had not heard shall they consider, period. Man, let me reread that again. Verse 15, so shall he sprinkle many nations, semicolon, the king shall shut their mouths at him, curly, 
for that which had not been told them shall they see. Semicolon. And that which they had not heard shall they consider. Period. And that's the end of Isaiah chapter 52. Thank you for reading out loud with me. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Thank God. Amen again. Hey, look. Yeah, look. Yeah. Put the gun down. Pick the Bible up. Because you don't want to get gunned down with your own gun, right? Because God going to make sure of that. Yeah? He's going to make sure of that. Yeah? He's going to make sure of that. Yeah? Because he needs your attention or, or him. That way he can show you your purpose on why he created you for him. You feel me? Because you're not, you're not here on your own accord. You're not, man. And if you think you are, that, that's the devil lying to you. Stop believing that lie. Get back to the Holy God, Most High. And Jesus Christ, man, pray that y'all are healed quickly. If not, go back and we read and ask for the Holy Spirit to give you that passion, that zeal you need to go forth. And don't rush. Take your time. Every word. Is an anointing. See, that's what they didn't tell you in these religious churches. That when you read from the heart to the heart, you're going to get healed. You're going to get uplifted. You're going to be lit on fire like a flame for the Lord Jesus Christ. And it's not going to be put out. In Jesus' name, be, believe that, yeah? believe that. A lot of people keep asking me why I believe what I believe because it's obvious. It's it's obvious that God loves us, okay? Yeah, unless you blind, hurt, in pain, God heals that too. That's what the Holy Bible is for. Now, if you don't know how to read, there's another miracle in someone coming to you to teach you how to read. God always sends your help. He always is your help. He is your source to this life. Believe that. Yeah? Believe that. Yeah? So that's Isaiah chapter 52, reading out loud. Be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. And let nothing love you. Cookies. And let nothing.